Well, as we've been talking about, early voting in Texas started this week, and one of the most important issues on both sides of the aisle this year is our southern border with Mexico. CBS News wants to hear about the concerns straight from voters. CBS Mornings is introducing a new series now. It's called Border Towns, and Omar Villafranca is spending the week uh, traversing the nearly 2,000-mile border now, and he's live from El Paso this morning with us. Now, Omar, what is the mission of your border tour? Well, the mission is basically to start in Texas and go all the way to California and visit several border towns to find out uh, from people who live in these border towns what is going right, what is going wrong, what needs to be improved, what are the misconceptions, and what do they want to hear and see the next president of the United States do uh, for border towns. Listen, the only time we usually come down here uh, when I'm down here is that there's a migrant surge or there is some sort uh, of, of drug seizure, but it's not always like that down here. It's quiet actually in El Paso when it comes to migrant surges. This is when we're gonna talk to people uh, when it's not an emergency situation, what's right, what's wrong, what's working. Omar, I saw that one of your producers uh, tweeted earlier this morning that they y'all have already covered 884 miles. You have about 730 miles to go. Uh, what are you hoping to yes. kind of gather from this trip? I mean, this is a large commitment by CBS to literally send you along the border. It is. And listen, we're going to go about 1,600 miles. We've done about 800 of it right now. Texas has the largest border uh, of, in the U.S. with, uh, with Mexico. Um, but we want to hear from the regular people. We're learning things. Like in Presidio, Texas, which is a small remote area, they have one port of entry. The mayor says, yes, I do want to beef up CBP, not because there's migrants crossing over. There's not. It's so remote. He wants more business coming over from Mexico back and forth. And, and that's the kind of thing we don't hear about because we're usually down here when there's a migrant surge or there's some sort of, of crisis going on. But these folks say it's not a crisis all the time, but things do have to be done in Washington. Uh, and we see the border wall behind you there in El Paso. I mean, obviously, that's front and center, too, to some of those towns. But other towns, like you were mentioning with Presidio, I mean, it's so rural that there's no way to build a border wall in some of those areas. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be looking forward to hearing your full report. Omar, thank you for joining us live.